so I made one video today and I just don't feel like the Lord's done with me yet. Um, I need to just talk to you about something super quick. And I feel like somebody needs to hear this because like I was supposed to be at my mama's was like an hour ago. But this just hit me and I, I just feel like I need to talk to somebody about this. So my personal life, what's going on in my life is going to have to go on hold for a second just so I can talk to you. Whoever you are. I don't know who you are. I'm speaking to mostly the young people, I feel like, but they may be some older people out there that can relate to this too. So if, if you've got a Bible or you want to look this up on the internet, if you don't have a Bible or you have the Bible up on your phone, look up 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 through 8. Now in this, you're going to see, if you're reading the King James Version, it's going to say the word charity. But in this, charity means love. So when you read this, it's going to explain to you what love is. When you read these verses, if you can replace the word um, charity with your significant other's name, then most likely you've got who you're meant to be with. That's the way that I see it because this explains perfectly what love is. I'm not even going to read it to you. I'm not going to read this to you because I want you to take time and look this up if you've not read it before. And that is 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 through 8. This is the perfect definition of love. Now what I'm going to talk to you about is a lot of us, we start panicking when we feel like that we have not found our significant other. We feel like, you know, God's not sending us who he's meant for us to have. We think, oh, Lord, I'm just never going to get married. I'm never going to have a family. I'm never going to have so-and-so and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we tend to make mistakes in our life. I know that I've made several. Um, and out of panic, we tend to just end up with bad people, people that hurt us, people that abuses us mentally, physically, whatever. We end up with what God doesn't have planned for us. But, see, when you have somebody that God has planned for you, they will pray with you. They will comfort you. They will be there for you. Like if you come in from a hard day and you say, Honey, I've had a bad day. Can you get down? Can you pray with me? Can you help me reach the throne of God so that my problems can be fixed? If you've got somebody in your life that will not do something like that, that they can't do that, that they can't pray with you, that they can't comfort you, but instead belittle you, you have the wrong person. Do not be afraid to walk away. And this is not just speaking about relationship. This is from sin. Do not be afraid to walk away from sin. Sin can be in our lives and we won't even know it. Like you may be with someone and think, oh, they're doing me so bad, but I know they love me. They can't help how they are. Like you keep making and these excuses for people and then you think well I know that I love them they love me and then you're making excuses and all that but the truth of it is you're living in sin and let me tell you why you're living in sin because the devil is a liar the devil will trick you the devil will tell you things are okay when they're not the devil will put those excuses in your way and I cannot count the times just as a woman that I have had friends that have come to me and they've stayed in relationships and they've been beat to death or their children's been beat or whatever, but they would still make excuses because the devil had them brainwashed. Listen, there is hope for everybody. There's hope for everybody. If you're living in sin and your partner's doing that, by all means, pray for this person. Like be like, Lord, touch them, help them, Lord, fix them. Whatever's wrong, take these demons out of their life. I mean, even if you can't stay with them, pray for them. You have to pray for everybody and love everybody. But you do not have to remain in a situation that is of sin. God can send you and bless you with what you deserve. You have to remember, you are a child of God. You in no way deserve to be treated bad. You in no way deserve to have to... Um, fight for your life. You're a child of God. You deserve everything that God has for you. And if you allow God to bless you, he can bless you in your relationship, in your life, in your job, everything going on in your life, God can reach down, put his hand on you and bless you if you let him. But if you're blocking your own blessings because you want to do what you're wanting to do, like just living in sin, like you're living in that situation that you can't let go. And you might think, well, maybe I'm not living in sin, Andrea. I'm a Christian. I go to church. But even though, you know, you're living in that situation with your husband or your wife or whatever. But the thing of it is, is that, yeah, you're living in sin because you're living with sin. 
that's the thing you can be saved and be a Christian and live with sin and it, it may you know you may be praying be prayed up be saved or whatever but you're still living with that sin so you're still living with the devil you have to ask yourself what what do I deserve as a child of God I'm a child of God okay God is the king he is the legit ro royalty you know we are children of royalty so why why do we feel like that we should have to go through these things in our life why should we have to suffer like this in our life why can't we just let God work why can't we let God work our lives and send us who we're meant to have why can't we just be patient and you know there's so many young people and I see it so many times and this was one of the things that put this on my heart today there's so many people and I, there's several people actually on my uh, social media that I see, and this is one of the things like I said it put it on my mind they're in a relationship with you know this certain person and in a week they're broke up and then they're back together and they're broke up and this person keeps taking this other person back and you know I just keep thinking why are you doing yourself like that why are you belittling yourself and considering your worth so little that you keep going back to someone that's going to hurt you that bad? That does not value you. You are a child of God. Man or woman, you are a child of God. Boy or girl, you are a child of God. You have no reason to let someone belittle you and not see how precious you are if somebody is in your life they don't see your worth they don't see how important you are they don't see what all you are capable of and they're not encouraging you and bringing out the best in you they are not who god has for you sometimes you have to let go with the things that you love in order for god to move in and say here this is what i've got for you quit blocking your blessings don't let the devil sit and tell you that you can't let go because you can that's the whole thing children you can let go you have the opportunity and the chance to let go god makes you strong he can carry you through anything all you have to do is say lord give me strength give me the strength to do this give me the strength to let go of what is not meant to be in my life say lord take it from my life one of the things that i have prayed upon my life ever since i got saved when i was 17 years old was lord if it is not meant to be in my life take it from me i don't want it and i cannot count the times that relationships whether it be friendships boyfriends whatever even my marriage you know my marriage fell apart because but you know it was there was so much more to it but what i'm saying is it fell apart because i said lord if it's not meant for me take it i know that you're going to help me through it i know you're going to carry me that is what god does ye of little faith people ye of little faith you have to have faith in god and know that he can move a mountain i mean when i say that he can pick up a mountain and move it from one point to another he can he is that big that great so why why do you stay around people that does not they don't value you you are a child of somebody that amazing that mighty you don't deserve to be treated bad you don't deserve to be with someone that does not love you appreciate you and that is willing that is willing to help you pray and fight your spiritual battles that is willing to stay with you through thick and thin you deserve that i don't know who's meant to hear this but it's for somebody and i hope it helps whoever it's for and i hope you guys have a great rest of your sunday god bless y'all